the New York Hall of Science, we're known for our rockets, but that's not the only type of flight that you can find here. Let's find out a little bit more about how hot air balloons manage to fly. All right, Steph, so it seems like it's all in the name, hot air balloons filled with hot air, but how does that make them fly? So a hot air balloon usually has an opening at the bottom where fire is feeding into the opening and therefore making the inside of the balloon hot. And Fun fact about hot air, it expands. Mm -hmm. So that iconic shape that you associate with hot air balloons is from that hot air expanding and taking up as much space as possible. Now another fun fact about hot air is it is a lot lighter than regular air. So when hot air is surrounded by regular air, it will rise. But just by heating the air, you can make it lighter. Yeah, exactly. So inside of this box here, there's an opening at the top, and inside of the box is a hot plate that's been on for quite some time. Nice and toasty. Yeah. <laughs> so what we can do is take a bag and cover the top of the box, making sure it covers all four corners. Because the heat of the hot plate is able to come through the opening, it's expanding. You can see it expanding. Yeah, it's yeah. making the air inside of the bag Expand. Just like a hot air balloon. Just like a hot air balloon. So if we were to loosen up the corners and guide oh, it up. Wow. So by heating up the air so that it's hotter than the other air around it, you can make it proportionately lighter and things that are lighter will rise. Yeah, so that's called the law of buoyancy. When a lighter object is surrounded by a heavier substance like a regular balloon surrounded by water, the lighter object will rise, like how a balloon floats. So this is just one part of the flight demonstration that you can see here at the New York Hall of Science, Mondays through Fridays at 11.30 a.m. Thank you so much for explaining flight to us, Seth. No problem. <laughs>